Hi and welcome and thank you for joining me for the session two of Learn to Code for Kids and Beginners. <laughs> uh, the tool that we're going to be using in order to compile our code and to make our code into something functional will be Unity 3D. To find Unity 3D, you can go ahead and get you a free copy of the Unity3D.com website. Uh, simply search Unity 3D in Google and it would normally be the first result. You can always just type it in unity3d.com. Once you're at the page, notice at the top it says get unity. Go ahead and download that. You see that there's three packages. Go ahead and choose the personal. The personal is free and um, click try personal. Click the checkbox and download the installer for Windows. If you're on a Windows machine, if you're not, choose Mac OS X. All right. I have a Windows, so I'll choose Windows. And once the download is ready, go ahead and run it. I'll say yes. And then just follow through with the steps accept next here this is very important okay the ones that I would love for you guys to choose would be anyone on here that says Visual Studio now I already have uh, Visual Studio 2017 on yours you might see it listed here please check that box and proceed also check the unity 3d box check the documentation and because I already have the other stuff installed they're not showing up here I'm gonna hit cancel on mine but you should go ahead and proceed with your installer here we go so yours should look something more like this So what you want to do is make sure this is checked, Unity, your new Unity 3D, whatever version that's available currently at the time you're watching this video. Choose the document station. You can skip the web player. Get the standard asset. Get the example project so you can practice and actually learn on your own. And also get the Microsoft Visual Studio. Anything else you like to get is completely up to you. Just note that it'll make the installer take a little longer for you. You may pause this video and get that now. In the meanwhile, let's talk about what is coding. I like to think of coding as just another way of carrying out programming. Now, coding is not programming per se, because there's many ways you can program without even coding, but coding is another way of programming. For example, do you have Legos? <laughs> if you play with Legos, then you should know that the Legos are made to snap to each other. That's what they're made for you take that functionality that allows them to snap and you snap enough parts together in different different sequence and order and you just made yourself well a castle that's a form of programming using something that's made to do something else and putting it together in order to build something that you wanted to build and solve whatever the problem is that you wanted to solve and that's the kind of mindset that I would like to leave with you in today's video. Once you have your Unity installed and you're all set to go and your window looks something like this, check out the next video and let's continue with an overview of Unity. Hey, you should become a part of this positive and educational channel by hitting that subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.